Uh, hello. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. Uh, as uh, the video before this was a introduction in a random video, uh, I want to formally introduce myself again. If you guys don't know me, my name is Garrison Moritz. I am a <clears throat> I am the nephew of Marvin Diamond. If you guys know him around Indian World, he was a uh, he was very special to our, to our Pawnee people, to our Pawnee and Oto people, and uh, he's known. He's known. He's known for his like his like his gourd work, his peyote stitching and stuff like that. He's known for that, and his speeches, and, like, his talk. He give you a speech. He'll he'll give you inspiration. He was inspiration to me. He's the reason why I sing mainly still. If it wasn't if if it wasn't for him and get and if he didn't give me my, my first peyote gourd. I wouldn't be doing this. I'd probably do something else. Something stupid. But, yeah. But, oh, another thing I forgot to say. Y'all have been there. Honey was there. But, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's morning, 6.44. And i just waiting for this one video to upload. I kind of messed up because my voice is going out kind of I went I kind of went for it too too much but yeah if you guys look for a hand drum and you live in Oklahoma you want a hand drum go to my uh I'm going to be uploading videos where you have to guess the, the, the name of the drum group that sings the song if you get it right you get this hand drum and uh, not the stick though, cause it's a brand new stick. You get one of these, you get that little skinny one right there. So yeah, cause this is my good stick. It makes a good noise on the drum, especially for like this big drum right here. Um, yeah, I'm rugged. Look at that. I live on this couch cause my damn sister took my to my room. I have no room. I live. I sleep on the fucking couch for a whole summer. Then when I come back for Christmas, I do the same thing. <clears throat> my sister and my brother-in-law took my room because they were fucking cheap. Can't buy, can't afford a damn apartment. My sister is a Ellen, I think, a licensed nurse. Yeah, licensed nurse. And she can't afford a damn apartment at least. And these are cheap apartments over here across the street. But yeah, and hopefully later on in the summer or a school year. I'm going to be doing campus and power vlogs, so be ready. You're going to be seeing this face a lot. Hey. Um, yeah, that's mainly basically it. Um, just that and, uh, yeah, I love the, I love the snack. Hey. Uh, next. Um, one thing. I want you guys to know. If you like power vlogs, and not my power vlogs, mine are not coming up till next weekend probably. I mean, like power vlogs. This dude that makes power good. There's two guys that you should look up, or oh, three people actually. I think four. There's Brittany Shagiz, Raven Morgan, Noah Pino, and Drumsticks Unlimited. The four main vlogs you should look up. How about vlogs? They make good ones, especially that Raven girl. She was a contestant for Miss Indian World. Yeah, she's from Oklahoma too. I don't know what, she, what tribe she is. I think she's like Cheyenne because she was speaking. Because I was watching the uh, Miss Indian World pageant, she was speaking Cheyenne. I think I think it was her or someone. Yeah, it was her. She was speaking Cheyenne. I was like, well, we have this one. I was like, just ish pivot, hey. But yeah. This is my messy home. I gotta put that up. I gotta clean this whole house before I go to my dad's Monday to, up in Stroud. Um, I'm just acting hustle. I'm just acting black. Hey, just kidding. I'm acting Wasichu. Man, I'm acting Wasichu trash. Hey. But yeah, if you don't guys know what Wasichu means, it means white. And uh, Sue. Wasishula, Wasishu, and Hasapa means uh, the other color. But yeah, don't get offended. I just like 
native humor. We have a lot of, us natives have like a lot of humor and shit. And we like to say stupid shit. So like don't don't get offended. If you if you came down here around this area where I live, especially where I live by the Cheyenne Rap Hill Nation. Just like it's probably like thirty minutes from here. And you go down that area, they will fucking give you them they're even worse. Don't even get me started. They're just rugged. They're just ratchet, hey. They're just ratchet. Especially in Hammond, hey. Uh people if you come down to Oklahoma and you come around this area, the Shine Rapo area, and you hear about Hammond, it's not gonna be good things. But trust me, Hammond really ain't that bad as people think it is. It's just like a lot of partying goes on. That's why everybody thinks it's rugged. And people say they don't wear socks and shoes. They do wear socks and shoes in Hammond. Trust me, I've been down there like twice in my life. It's all fucking stupid bullshit. But yeah. Well, uh, I live in Yukon. And Shiner Arapaho Nation's 30 minutes away from where I live up in El Reno. And, and uh, I'm from Pawnee. I'm. I'm not from Pawnee, but I grew up around that area though when I was little. I was, uh, it's called this place called Wellston. It's around the. It's basically it's not basically around Pawnee. It's just like an hour away from Pawnee, Oklahoma, but it's like thirty minutes away from Stroud, Oklahoma, which is Sac and Fox, the Sac and Fox Nation. That's why I'm Sac and Fox too. And uh, yeah, I'm just surrounded by Cheyennes, CNAs, hey. But I go to school in Anadarko, Oklahoma. If you haven't heard it, it's called Riverside Indian School. It's a boarding school for Native Americans. BIA owned, of course. Damn government. Hey. Um. Oh, well, next. Um. Uh. But yeah. Um, and uh, Anadarko is nothing but a bunch of Kiowas, Comanches, Apaches, Cattle, Wichita's, and Delawares. It's clean, hey. Dirt's clean, the road's clean. The only thing's not clean is uh the river, hey. The river's dirty, so shit. It gets rough around the around the rainy season, cause that, cause like we have like a little creek, a little, I'd say like a little like a little river going next to my campus by the dorms and sometimes they overflow and sometimes I get scared I was like I don't know why because I I don't want to die because of water hey. if I'm going to die it's going to be like natural like heart attack I'm not going to die because I, I can't because of damn fucking well clear ass water or dirty ass water you get in my lungs I can't breathe but yeah my my battery's going down. It's at twenty percent. It's only at twenty percent, and I'm worried. My voice doesn't really sound like this. It's just like I was just singing like a lot of roundup songs earlier. I was like busting my voice, and yeah, there's my dog Stanley. You see me? There's my stupid ass kid. What the fuck? Velvet. Stupid cat. I hate. I, there's one thing you gotta know about me. I hate cats. I never wanted that fucking cat. It was a present for my mom a couple years back. And I used to torture the hell out of that cat though when, it was, when she was just little. I still do because I hate. I don't like. Like I said, I'm not a cat person. Stanley's my best friend. That's my dog. My dog's my best friend. Right now he hates me because I smother him too much. You know? We smother him with love and shit. We just, my mom, like, my mom, like, my sister bought that cat for my mom, and, like, we, she just, like, like, the rest of us, me and the whole household ignores the damn cat, and we're always smothered up on the dog, because he came first, he was here first, he's been here in our lives for, like, 10 years, 10 years he's been in our lives, he's a good dog, he keeps looking at me, though, what, you want me supper? You want me breakfast, huh? I'll cook you up in that pot right now. I'll go to cook. I'll go. Yeah, I know how to cook puppy. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll make you supper. I'll skin you. 
Sure you uh, cook you. I was throwing a Dutch oven pot. Have puppy soup with the bones. Hey. Well yeah. Uh later on I'll walk around and show you what Yukon looks like. It looks like trash. Hey. Uh but yeah. I'll show you some people if they're here. Uh I'll show my friend, my, my homie, my main nigga, uh Caitlin Wisdom and Cause I'm supposed to give her a pack of cigarettes. Speaking of which, let's go smoke one right now. Hey, just kidding. Hey, just kidding. Calm down, guys. Calm down. Calm down. No good. You guys are rugged already. I barely even know you. I don't even know any of you. And you're, you are acting rugged. Just Ushika. It means pitiful and Sue. I got that from Noah Pino. He says, if you look up Noah Pino, man, he'll like say a lot of his language and his, and his, uh, like, like the rugged words, like Ushika means pitiful or like ka, kata, just kata means hot. Ima P means fool. Uh, I forgot the other one he said. Like, fuck, I forgot. There's some other rugged words he says from his language, but yeah. But I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> Just comment what you think. Just be honest what you think about the video. Like if it's stupid, just let me know. If it's funny or just, if it's cool, just let me know. I'm I'm not a little. I'm not like these some of these other niggas. This bitch and he's like start bitching you out and shit because you don't like my video or you say stupid shit. I'll let you be. Like you have free speech on my stuff. Like go ahead, we'll say whatever. I'm not a little bitch. Hey. Uh, but yeah. Uh huh.